Welcome to the third and final part of my tutorial showing you how to create a piece of work in the style of Hattie Stewart. And you'll see I've already got this far in my image. Um, and I now want to put some extra features in to fill the space. So I'm going to go into the top corner and I'm going to start drawing a flower. So I'm going to start with the center of the flower using the shape tool and I'm going to have a kind of like a dark red, not that dark, yeah, something like that. Magenta, I suppose. And I'm going to do that for both the fill and for the outline. So I've got a solid shape there. And then I'm going to right click on that layer and rasterize it so it just becomes a normal shape. I'm going to go back to the pen tool and I'm going to draw. So click click, drag, click, and drag, click, and drag, and click, and then click again to finish it off. And I have a petal shape. And I'm going to make that a pink color, maybe slightly darker. Yep, it's nice. And again, do that with the outline. And then again, right click on that layer rasterize so that's one petal done and then i will drag that layer down underneath the center of the flower and i will right click on it and duplicate that layer and move it into position to be the second petal and i'm going to keep repeating that so once i'm happy with that i'm then going to right click duplicate that layer position that then right click again, duplicate layer, position that, and then right click again, duplicate layer. And that's my last petal, okay? And then just gonna shimmy them about so I'm happy with them. It's a case of choosing whichever one you want to move getting them all into position. And once you're happy with them being all in position, click on the top layer and press shift and click on the bottom layer and then right click and merge those layers together. So you have your flower all on one layer now. I can resize that now. And if I want to make more flowers, I right click, duplicate layer, and there you go, I have another flower. I can spin that a little bit, make it look like a different flower. Shrink it down, holding shift to make sure it stays the same shape. Okay, and other things you can do are like um, changing image adjustments, hue saturation, and dragging up the hue and the saturation so that you can change the colors of these things. Okay, and obviously you can right click on that and duplicate it so you can duplicate the different colored flowers make them bigger again okay so that's how to create and add flowers to your work um, another um, motif that um, Hattie Stewart uses in a lot of her work is hearts and just like we did in the first part of this tutorial, we can use the heart shape to do that. So I'm just going to zoom in beside the face here. I grab the shape tool, go to custom shape, and it's still on hearts from where I had earlier. And I just draw a heart in. Okay, and then obviously that's pink at the moment, but I could have that any color I wanted. I'm going to leave that pink, position it. And then I can rasterize that, right click, rasterize layer, turns it into a basic shape. And then right click, duplicate layer, and I can duplicate it. And if I don't want it to be the same size, I can resize it. And I can also fill it, if I go to the paint, yeah, into the color select. And then I can use the paint bucket to fill it, make it a different color. OK, so that's how to create flowers and hearts. 
I'm going to cut away now and carry on doing it and you will join me back once I've finished. Okay, here I am having completely filled my area with hearts and flowers and so I'm now going to just, I've decided to add some tears down the side of my face. So I'm going to show you how to do tears. So with the pen tool, click and drag to make the curve. Click and drag just a bit. Click and drag just to bend that curve back again. And there's one tear. I'm just going to change the colours. Make it a kind of blue colour. Okay. A little bit more turquoisey. That'll do. Change the outline to be the same colour. And you can just click on the colour there so it goes the same. And then right click, rasterize, right click, duplicate. And I can use the arrow tool to then move the new one wherever I like, spin it round, put it next to the first tier, then right click, duplicate again, and just keep doing that until I've got all the tiers that I want kind of splashing from my eye, okay? And you can flip them like that if you like, just by grabbing the handle and flipping it over. Spin them round. And position them wherever you want them. I think now I've got that, I'm going to be putting that back like that. Mm, maybe not. Spin it a bit, I think. Okay, that will do. Right, now I have them all the way I want them. I'm going to click on all of them. Right click, merge the layers so they all become their own thing. And again, that lets me spin them and position them wherever I want them to be. Okay, so that's how to do teardrops splashing from your eyes or eye. Okay, and I think I'm going to do something to my skin, um, to me. So given that I'm on the same layer as all of these um stripes in the back. I'm just having to highlight those with the magic wand. If you press shift while you're doing it, it will allow you to choose multiple areas. And I'm just selecting the whole of the background. And then I'm going to go select inverse. So now all I have selected is me. Okay. And I'm going to go image adjustments, black and white. And I'm going to turn myself black and white, click OK. And then I'm going to use color balance. So image adjustments, color balance to mess around with the colors. I'm going to make myself look quite blue. Okay. A little bit of the red, maybe. Mm, no, I don't think so. Just blue. Click OK. And then I want to go to image adjustments, hue saturation. And just play with that blue a bit. I want it to be more turquoisey. That looks good. Yeah, up the saturation. Okay, it's good. And then lastly, I'm just going to go image adjustments, brightness and contrast. And I'm just going to whip up the contrast quite a lot, make myself look a bit more dramatic, a bit darker maybe. Yeah, click OK. All right. Now, like Hattie Stewart has done it in the piece that's inspiring this piece, I'm also going to add some noise to my portrait, about 25%. It's going to give it a bit of a kind of a texture, spotty texture. And I'm also going to, inspired by that same piece, um, put some concentric circles into my eyes. So I'm going to open up a picture of concentric circles that I grabbed off of Google earlier. And I'm going to just mask off, not all of it, just a part of it. Control C or edit copy. 
then go back to here, at control V or edit paste. And that's pasted that in and I'm just going to move it into position, making sure the center is where my pupil is. And then going to hide that layer for a sec and go to my layer with my eye on it and just use the polygonal lasso tool just to mask off my eye so I have a mask where my eye is okay and I'm going to go and turn that layer visible again make sure I'm on that layer and I'm going to select inverse so I've selected everything else not the eye and I press delete and that makes the eye okay I'm then going to go back going to grab that selection again control C control V to copy and paste it in and again, I'm going to move that to where I want it to be. And I'm going to go and make that invisible again and get the polygonal mask. And mask off this eye. Or as much of it as I can see anyway. OK, go back to that layer so I can see it. Select inverse and then press delete and that deletes everything around the eye okay and that is the end of this third and final part of the tutorial i hope you find it really helpful